We're here in the Bob Wright Center at UVic where hundreds of students from all over the island have gathered to talk science. <laughs> I'm here now with Anthony Fredit, a coordinator with Let's Talk Science. Anthony, can you just give us an idea of what Let's Talk Science is all about? Well, Let's Talk Science is a national nonprofit organization. It is across uh, the country. There is uh, 41 sites across Canada. So what we do, we provide hands-on, minds-on experiments for uh, kids and teenagers. Liquid nitrogen. Their mission is to amaze and inspire. With a day featuring eye-catching experiments and science trivia. Okay, so I'm going to try and help you out, all right? Okay. I haven't taken a science class for about 15 years. <laughs> so I'll try my best. Okay. Okay. So expert advice. You'll be given 30 seconds to either agree or disagree with the expert advice provided. Okay, so it's true or false? Yeah. On a hot day, the coolest place to be in a house is the basement. Yeah, you think that's true? Yeah, heat rises, right? Yeah, see? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probiotic. Okay. Yeah, now, okay. chemistry, which is the gas is not a state of matter. I don't see. Uh, yeah, 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 obviously. It's I, I don't know. Okay, so how do we do on the multiple choice? Uh, we got four out of eight. Yeah. Four out of eight. That's not good. Am I still on the team? Yes. Yeah. Really? To these kids, this was their Super Bowl. And Mason Shields was the loudest. Physics, chemistry, biology, math. Earth science, space science, and biochemistry, again. So you like everything about science? Yes. <gasps> How do you like to cheer? You like the woo? Yeah, I like the woo, because okay. that's easiest. Can you give me a woo? They seem really gung-ho about what's going on today. Well, they're very excited because uh, some of the students prepared for four months for this. We sent them a study guide in January, and they've been studying. Some teams have a, uh, a physicist, uh, a specialist, someone is a, a specialist of earth and ocean science. So they all study their own branches, and uh, you know they work hard and prepare for these days. So yeah, so it's exciting. It gives them an opportunity to learn subjects that they don't get in their regular curriculum, and it gives them an opportunity to do something a little bit above and beyond what they're doing in class. By the time they're in grade 8, they still don't have a lot of exposure to all the different areas, and I think this opens it up until they can see, oh, you know what, there's so many ways that I could you know, expand my learning or get interested and excited about it. I would really like to be um, a marine biologist when I'm older. So what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. Science is fun and it happens in, uh, on a daily basis. Everything we do, the technology around us, it's all about science. And so it's important just to uh, make it fun, accessible and uh, understandable in, a, in an easy way. The jobs that these kids are going to have are probably jobs that don't even exist right now. And so for them to be a part of this is a really important thing for their future and for ours. From a room full of smart kids, I'm Kevin Chirac.